Yeah, hello everybody, I stick here and today we're gonna be looking at how to make this flamethrower. So here it is. Here's the finished product. Turn around. It is four layers thick of double thick cardboard to give it some real depth. So we have some templates right here. I'm gonna tell you how to use those to make it. So we do not, I do not have templates for everything, but I have templates for most things. So this isn't really a template, kind of is. So this right here is what it looked like when I originally drew it, or I drew this out, drew it as a picture and then cut it out. So these are like the three pieces. And I drew it in three pieces because where these seams are, that's where you're going to draw like some lines along here for like different parts where they're different colors, like black and white and all the different colors of it. So the first piece, like th this is what it looks like all together. This is one of the pieces. Because there's, this is actually two different pieces. Like you have this end part, has all this stuff here. That's what there's, you cut out two of the one, this whole thing with this, all that stuff in there. Two of those out of double thick cardboard. Connect those together. Then make two like this without all that. So that just literally just cut along there. Just cut it right out. And then that makes these two outside ones. So that gives it like depth where it's like that's like the inside part. Um has the little hole for the, the finger cut out. And then the other hand what I have is for this top piece. So what I did was I took this and I put it down like traced it traced along like that and flipped it, traced it again, and then had that one long piece and I cut like scores into it like that so it would curve. And then I cut out another piece like that just out of paper cardboard and wrapped that around the outside to cover once it was like once it was all bent, then I wrapped it around. That way it's smooth finish. Because you need these cracks, see how it kind of splits apart when it turns or when it curves rather. So this way it still keeps the smooth effect, but underneath it really is curved. That's how you do that. Oh you also need like, a little strip right there to go down the middle right here. Um, I don't have a template for this, just like the size that fits in here. There's a circle, two circle, two circles, and then cardboard wrapped around. These pieces are not double thick. Just like when you cut out the circle for the end, make sure you take into account how big the thing you wrap around is. Because if you make the circle just perfect with the size of this, and then you wrap stuff around it, it's not going to fit anymore. So, be careful of that. This I cut the lines into. You could cover that with paper cardboard as well. I didn't really feel like it. I have a little ring right here to attach to this. This is just, I think it's like a pipe cleaner a bit. I think so. A pipe cleaner that I kind of covered in a lot of hot glue and then wrapped in some paper cardboard. I believe that's what it is. That might not be, but it could just be like a ring of paper cardboard. I don't really remember. It doesn't really matter what you do. Put that back in there. And then that has this little end piece that fits right into there. This end piece, once again, it's like a circle, and I just kind of made a, made a cone and then like cut it to fit that angle. Cut it like that, and then that. So it'll fit this. Um, you can paint it if you want to. I didn't paint mine, at least not yet. I have a little trigger, which is just like a popsicle stick. Um, says the boring company right there. So I think that's just about it. So I think that just about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.